Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a class app for your parents or students to use. It's pretty simple, we're going to be using Google Drive. I'm going to show you how to start from the very beginning, so what you're going to do is go to New, Google Slide. I'm going to name this class app example. The very first thing you're going to want to do is change the format so when it opens on the phone it's the same size as a phone screen. So you're going to go to File, Page Setup, Custom. You're going to want to make sure that this is on inches and you're going to do 9 inches by 14 inches and then hit Apply. This will now um, change the format of all the slides and it'll be in the correct size for the phones. The next thing you're going to do is, make delete these, change the background. So you can go up here to background, choose image. I found one online that I'm going to use for an example. And I just typed in phone backgrounds. Um, you can search for like certain colors. I did phone background so it matches the size. To make sure all the slides get this when you make um, a new slide, hit add to theme and then hit done. So now you have your background. There's many different ways you can do this. You can really design it any way you want, but the first thing you can do is use a shape. You can use any shape you want. I'm going to use a rectangle. And this is where I'm going to put my little app icons. So I'm going to make the inside white and the outside I'm going to change the outline to black and I'm going to change the weight to about an 8. I like it nice and thick so it stands out. Using your up and down keys is how you can move the boxes around easily to make it to where you want it. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And now you have a place where you can put your icons. So there's many different places you can go for icons. I personally like to go to flaticon.com. And you can search for anything. So I'm going to make a contact page um, for my example. So I'm going to search for a phone. I personally like keeping everything the same color, so I'm going to try to pick something that matches the background that I chose. So maybe like a blue or a black would be good. Let's see if this one looks good. What I'm going to do is click on it, save it as a PNG, which means there is no background to it. I'm going to hit download. This website is free. You do have to just create an account so you can get unlimited downloads. And then it'll pop up down here. I'm going to go back to my class app, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drag it. And then we have a little icon. Now, if you want it inside of a little circle, I don't know if you saw my, my class app I made, it's very simple to do that. You're just going to insert shape. I'm going to use circle. Sorry. And you're going to just use this fill button. I'm going to make it black. I'm going to make the outside black as well. I'm going to make it bigger. Move it over. To move things in front or behind each other, I hit control and then up and down arrow and it'll move it where you want it to move to be. So I want this icon here, and I want the phone 
in the middle. I'm going to make it smaller. Remember, it might look really small on the computer screen, but on the phone, it won't look as small. Okay, now I'm going to try to make it even. And I'm going to go ahead and add a text box. And write contact. Make it a little bigger. Change the font. I'm going to use this font. I'm going to make it bold so it stands out a little more. And I'm going to try to match the color of the background. So all my um, little text box will match so it'll just look better. So I'm going to go to fill and this one will be close. If I was making this, oops, I accidentally filled the text box. Um, let's see, why is it doing that? Oh, I'm sorry, I was hitting the fill color instead of the text color. So if this was my app, I would match it a little bit better, but for this purpose, I'm just going to choose one that's close. It matches pretty well. And then you're just going to put it right underneath. Now we have a start to our app. If you want um, a banner to stand out to name it, we can go ahead and add in a shape. I'm going to do a rectangle. Make it the same size. It's all about just making sure everything lines up how you want it. Click on it. Now we're going to do the fill, and I'm just going to make it black. And the outline, black. So now we have a spot where we can put the name of the app. So you can do a text box. This is an example app, so that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to make this, oh, that's not how you spell example. You can change any font you want. There is a way to upload fancy fonts. I can show you that in a little bit. So let's just choose one. I'm going to make it bold, and then I'm going to go ahead and change that to the color that we're going to be using, which is this one. Then you can just drag it over, and now you have a title. I'm going to go ahead actually and show you how to make one in Publisher if you want it to look a little better. I know Google has very minimal fonts you can use. So what I like to do is have a Publisher with a bunch of titles that I'm just saving and putting it into my slides. So for my actual app, I used this one. So what you do is you hit, um, you click on the box, you click on all the boxes you want saved, you right click, save as picture. I'm going to save it as class app title and it leave this as a PNG that makes the background disappear and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to go back to my Google slide and you can go to insert image upload from computer. I'm going to find that that picture and then there you go. You have it. It has a clear background and it looks a little bit nicer, in my opinion, than the regular Google fonts. You can also download a bunch of fonts for free online. It doesn't really fit with this box, so I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger.
And there we have it, Miss Atkinson's class app. I'm going to move this down. And I'm going to go ahead and change this font color to match the Miss Atkinson up here. So let's go to custom and just try to get as close as we can. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty good. Okay, so now we have um, our little banner. We have our phone. We have everything. So to make this clickable, we're going to go to a new slide. And we are going to make this the contact page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the, let me make this font picture smaller so I can grab the black bar, the black bar and the background. I just hit control to select both and then I'm going to hit copy. And then I'm going to paste that. I'm going to go ahead and go up here. Actually, I forgot I changed that picture. So now we need to name this. So I'm going to put contact. Change the font to one that looks a little more appealing to me gonna go ahead and make that bigger. I'm using control shift and um, I guess it's the greater than sign. I don't even know the technical term. I'm gonna hit bold, change my color, and I'm going to go ahead and grab this and put it here. So now when they click on this icon it'll take them to this page. To make that happen, you're going to go back to your home page. I'm going to click on the contact icon. The black circle and the um, text box and I just hit control to, and select each one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to actually can do this up here. Um, where's the... I'm sorry, you're going to have to do it one at a time. I forgot. So you're going to go up here to the little link button. And I'm going to link this phone icon to slides in this presentation. Slide 2. Apply. I'm going to do the same thing for the black circle. Slide 2. Apply. And finally the text box. I'm going to click that link slides in this presentation slides two. the reason why I linked all three is because you're going to want them to be able to click anywhere on the circle and it take you to that page now if we go in present mode right now if you click on it it'll take you straight there okay so let's go back to here and go ahead and add a home button. So I'm going to go back to my flat icons. I'm going to search for home. I'm just going to choose this plain black one so it stands out against the blue background. Hit PNG, free download. Go back to our slides, click and drag, and now we have a home button. I'm going to put this at the bottom, and I want them to match up on all the pages, so once I have this set where I want it, I'm going to hit control C, which is copy, and control V, which is paste. I'm actually going to delete this because this will be our home page. Any slides that you make that are not your home page, you're going to want to right click 